Hello, my name is Yalun Zhang. I am a research associate at the Tang Center for Research in Neurodegenerative Diseases at the University of Toronto. And I was a former PhD candidate in Dr. Yu Chang Song's lab at the University of Hong Kong. Today, I would like to describe some findings of our study, which is just published in Brain, titled Amyloid Beta Toxicity modulates tau phosphorylation through the PAX6 signaling pathway. Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia globally. Right now, there is no cure for AD, and the current treatments are only minimally effective and do not prevent brain degeneration. Alzheimer's disease is characterized by two pathological hallmarks, the extracellular deposition of senile plaques due to accumulation of amyloid beta peptide and the intracellular development of neurofibrillary tangles due to hyperphosphorylation of tau protein. In AD brain, soluble forms of amyloid beta are thought to trigger a cascade of disease-causing processes, such as accumulation into senile plaques, neurofibrillary tangles, formation, synapse dysfunction which drive healthy neurons into the disease state and eventually lead to dementia. However, the molecular pathways linking amyloid beta, tau, neural degeneration are controversial. Through bioinformatics-based studies, we have uncovered PAC6, which is a key transcription factor in neural development, plays a role in the pathogenesis of AD. Previous evidence suggests that amyloid beta activates multiple regulators of the cell cycling pathways, including transcription factor, cycling dependent kinases, and E2F1. To examine the downstream events in the CDK E2F1 pathway, at first we compared 176 brain samples from 80 patients and 187 from control human brain in Mercury datasets. We found that PAC6 was among one of the E2F1 regulatory targets from a chromatin immunoprecipitation sequencing datasets. And PAC6 showed the highest correlation with E2F1 using protein function prediction analysis. Next, we examined the expression profile of PAC6 in an independent set of human brain tissues from the Canadian Brain Tissue Bank. Western blood of frontal cortical tissue isolated from 14 Alzheimer's disease patients and 14 non-Alzheimer's disease controls showed that expression of PAC6 was significantly upregulated in Alzheimer's disease brains compared with controls. To further determine this observation in an in vivo AD model, we studied TGCRND8 mouse. This mouse line develops early amyloid beta deposition and memory impairment, immunohistochemical staining of TGCRND8 and white type literate mouse brains show that beginning at four weeks of age, the proportion of neurons expressing PAC6 was significantly increased in the internal cortex of TGCRND8 mice, and this increase lasts until the mice are 26 weeks old. Lastly, to identify downstream gene targets for PAC6, we perform a comparative gene expression analysis using RNA sequencing. We found PAC6 regulates transcription of GSK3 beta. Since GSK3 beta is a kinase involved in tau hyperphosphorylation and neurofibrillary tangles formation, we reasoned that PAC6 induction might also regulate tau phosphorylation in our amyloid beta toxicity paradigm. We observed amyloid beta increased the concentration of phosphor tau serine 356, 396, and 404. When PAC6 was downregulated, tau phosphorylation at the three serine sites 
and the ratio of phosphor tau to total tau was strongly decreased, suggesting that the cell cycle pathways mediates GSK3 beta activity in this paradigm. In conclusion, this study provides a mechanism through which amyloid beta neurotoxicity leads to tau hyperphosphorylation via cell cycle activation and the subsequent activation of CMAP, PAX6, GSK3 beta. This signaling cascade contains several potential targets for pharmaceutical intervention. Hence, our discovery answers a long disputed question in AD research and shines a light towards targets in drug discovery. Thanks for watching. For more details, please read our paper.